spoke yesterday to Dr. Howe, the deputy director of the TBM Particle Accelerator Facility in New York. Dr. Thank Howe, you. welcome to the show. Where to, mate? The airport, please. The chances of anything going wrong are a million, million to one. But in theory, we've been told a particle accelerator experiment. You going anywhere nice? Uh, New York. Is that business or pleasure? Business. Anything is possible. I mean, theoretical science has all kinds of things, like there are parallel universes where different versions of our day exist. You could just as easily say the world would be destroyed by a giant meteor or a massive virus outbreak or something. They're far more likely. Anyway, it's time for the news. We'll be back to that later. Come on, lady. Here is the news. We're just getting unconfirmed reports that a volcano has erupted on the island of La Palma. Local witnesses report seeing a huge cloud of smoke. Recent studies have shown that half the island could collapse into the sea during volcanic activity, and some experts fear that this event could also generate a giant wave. United Kingdom Coast Guard. Mayday, Mayday, this is the Gwenshire Golf 7 Bravo 6 Alpha. My position is 401025 North and 032345 West. Roger, all received. How many persons on board? Um, and, uh, we have, looks like a very high wave approaching. I, I think we're going to be able to um, Hi. Hi. It's a 10 o'clock flight to New York already left. I'm sorry, sir, it's just boarded. Is there another flight available to New York? Yes, you're not. The 1110 is available and it's, it's leaving now for gate 13. Excellent. OK. It's thought that the giant wave, or mega tsunami, was created by a massive landslide that took place earlier today on the volcanic island of La Palma. Eruptions this morning are believed to have split the island into two, collapsing half a trillion tonnes of rock into the ocean. Witnesses say this impact into the sea created a wave of over 500 metres high. That giant wave is now thought to be heading westwards across the Atlantic towards the coast of America. News of the wave may strike in less than five hours was greeted with mixed reactions in New York. What kind of wave? Sound wave? In four hours? My God! But aren't you worried about your own welfare? I mean, if this wave is coming, shouldn't we be getting out of here, all of us? I, I don't believe that. I, I will hear about this. This happened this morning? Get my bathing suit on, I guess, and just hope for the best. I don't know. I'm, I'm beginning to get a little scared. U.S. fighter jets have been scrambled in an attempt to locate the tsunami that officials fear could be making its way across the Atlantic. This is Foxtrot Lima 99. I have a sighting. Confirm I have a sighting of the wave. Now deploying camera vision. It's heading west. Repeat, it's heading west. Seaboard time, the U.S. fighters confirmed the observation of the tsunami in the mid-Atlantic, which we now believe is about 500 feet high and traveling at 500 miles per hour toward the east coast of the United States. Passengers for flight UK 555 to New York, please report to classified information. Storm waves 
the wavelength is just a few tens of meters. But with mega tsunami, it's hundreds of kilometers. And what this means is that when storm waves break onto a coastline, they break almost immediately. But mega tsunami just keep on coming through the whole length of the wave. And this makes them incredibly powerful and incredibly destructive. But the advice we are giving is to evacuate up to three miles inland on the east coast. We think we are looking at only two to three hours left to do this. Unless evacuation plans were incredibly efficient, it would not be enough time to get everybody out of the affected areas. The tunnel's actually better. We go through the tunnel every day. I think that's the best route. Might be. We should we use our time. Hours. They we said should, three hours. We should use our time. If we have three hours, we have plenty of time to get up to the to the GW bridge and take that. I would rather spend one hour trying to get through the tunnel than but what if it's not three trying to get up time. I think it's enough time. We've, it's never been longer than that. The tunnel will fill up with water. It's not going to fill up with water. And we'll be out of it in the next half an hour. suggest that it's just one hour away from the east coast of the United States. All attempts at dispersing the giant wave have failed. Hi, Rob. We're being evacuated. We've called off the experiment. I'll call you back. I gotta go. The east coast of America is the, is the worst place this could happen. It's not some remote, deserted coastline. It's one of the most densely populated coasts in the world. The areas at risk include cities like Miami, parts of Boston, the coastal areas and suburbs of New York. It's almost inconceivable how much damage this event will cause. We believe many buildings have survived intact. Um, the wave traveled over two miles inland. Many towns and cities are declaring a state of emergency. Rescue efforts are underway across the East Coast. Uh, as yet, we have no idea the true extent of the damage, but no doubt thousands of people have died in this horrific event. 
because we've never experienced these things, we don't think that they're going to happen to us. We just ignore them. But these sorts of events have occurred throughout geological history. They're not going to stop happening just because we're around. La Palma is going to collapse into the North Atlantic. It's not a question of if, it's just a question of when.